Tori here today with something really exciting. Um, you know that in the past I've liked to order different kit clubs just to try them out, to give you a little review, tell you what I think, and just to kind of check them out. And I thought today I would review the Wild Hair Kit Club. And I'm actually really excited about it. This might be my favorite kit club. Um, it's like in a close tie with Felicity Jane, but this one is just so amazing. I'm just so excited about it and I couldn't wait to do a review of it once I opened it. <clears throat> and it's actually super unique. It's not like any other kit club that I've ever tried or ever been a part of and I couldn't wait to get on here to tell you a little bit more about it. So, if you haven't heard about the Wild Hair Kit Clubs, it's a brand new kit club and it's really unique in terms of it's a kit just for you. So what that means is that one of their kit club curators, I don't know if that was, that's what they call them, curates a kit package just for you. Not for everybody. It's not the same kit that everybody gets. It's a kit club curated just for you, which honestly to me is like so exciting. It's like your own personal shopper. And I've already peeked into what I got for from this kit. And I must just say that it's the best kit package that I've ever received in my entire life. And I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to get playing and I couldn't wait to share it with you guys too. Um, I actually opened it up last night and I kind of wanted to get started right away but I was like holding myself off because I knew that I wanted to do like an unboxing video slash share with you. Um, but honestly I wanted to get started with it right away. So the way that the Wild Hair Kit Club works is you go onto their website and you fill out a style profile and there's a bunch of questions. You fill it out telling them all about yourself, your likes, your dislikes and then they curate a kit just for you. And there's two different sizes. There's a petite and a deluxe. I got the deluxe just because I wanted to see what was included in the deluxe. Next time I think I might order the petite just so that I could kind of compare the two different kits to see what you get in each one. But I'm actually really impressed by how much I got in the deluxe kit. And I think it was definitely worth the money. So the way it works is I went onto their website and I filled out a style pro profile and I printed it off and I thought what I could do is kind of share with you guys what I told them about what I liked and then we could go through the kit and I could show you whether or not I think that they hit my style profile on or not. So I won't tell you everything but there's a bunch of questions and um, then they kind of ask you about yourself and your style and then they pick out the things for your kit based on what you tell them about yourself. So <clears throat> I told them that regarding current trends in the paper crafting industry, I'm always willing to try new things. Um, some people are more traditionalist, but I actually like being challenged and trying new things. So I put that down. Um, they asked what type of embellishments do you always want in Included in your projects and I said stickers, enamel dots, phrase stickers, chipboard embellishments, handmade embellishments, sequins, acrylics, brads and buttons and flare. Um, they also said what embellishments did we miss and I told them doilies and resin flowers because if you guys know me there should be doilies and resin flowers because those are my favorites and then <coughs> they asked if I wanted to receive cardstock, and I said yes, so I got a couple of pieces of cardstock. Let's see, they asked me if there were any embellishments I didn't want to get, and I said, for some reason I just can't use wood veneer. Well, I love ephemera, I only use it if it's from Crate Paper, Pink Paisley. I'm not a huge washi tape fan, unless it's pink or gold, or any other color any other color goes into the giveaway pile. I think I would prefer a kit without any stamps, thickers, letter stickers, or 6x6 papers. I probably wouldn't use those. <clears throat> they asked if I had any favorite designers, and I said, Crepe Paper, Dear Lizzie, Pink Paisley, and Page, Page Evans, which you guys already know that about me. Um, 
They ask me what time, type of crafter I am, how often I craft, what type of projects I've been working on. So I said that lately I've been working on a lot of summer vacation photos um, and also some wedding photos. <clears throat> And then they asked if there was anything that I wanted the curator to know. So I said, I love sparkles, gold, and glitter. I love floral papers and watercolor papers. I love doilies, buttons, enamel dots, and sequins. I love pink, yellow, and mint, and I hate brown and orange. And I only use pink or gold washi and hardly ever use any thickers. So there are a few other questions, but <clears throat> that's primarily where we got. So already I'm super excited about the colors of this kit and I already see so many things I'm excited about so I don't even know where to start but I think I'll sh start with this cute little card that they included it just says it's totally rad that you ordered from us we sincerely appreciate your order and hope you enjoy your happy mail and we can't see wait, wait to see what you create so pretty please tag your photos with hashtag wild hair kits and then there's just a quick little note on the back of there from Allison, who's the owner and curator, which I was just so excited about. I couldn't wait to dive in. So um, I'm really excited because I feel like they hit all of my favorite points on the head. So first off, I'm going to start with my favorite embellishment here, buttons. These back buttons are from Maggie Holmes Crate Paper, so not only does that hit my favorite embellishment, aka buttons, but it also hits my favorite colors, pink, yellow, mint, and crate paper, so I'm excited about those. And I'm pretty sure these vintage buttons are self-adhesive, <clears throat> which will make them really easy to put on projects. So I love those. I'm excited about that. I'm just going to staple this to the outside of there. Okay, so that's one embellishment that I got. The next embellishment that I got were these Dear Lizzie die cut phrases. And again, they're in my favorite colors, which, thank you. Um, and there's all these different phrases. Live colorfully, you are my happy, so in love, cool. So normally I don't use titles on my pages just because I really struggle to use titles, but I actually think this is really awesome because it might encourage me to use titles and they're like pre-done titles, which is just great. So there are the ones that I got and again they're like in pinks and yellows and mints and then there's a couple watercolor ones there which is super fun because I get to watercolor my own. <clears throat> Next up, I got these Turn the Page Pink Paisley or Page Evan designed um, puffy stickers, and they are just so adorable, guys. I didn't order these yet because I was kind of hoping that I would get them in this kit or that somebody would send them to me um, for another kit club that, I, that I'm reviewing, or not a kit club, for another design team. But I'm so excited because I love puffy stickers and these flowers and and birds and butterflies. This is just so cute. So page and so adorable. Can't wait to scrap with those puffy stickers. I got a package of Maggie Holmes crepe paper embellishments. So some gold sequins, some blue and green stars, and some of those puffy puff balls I don't know what to call them so I already got this package but that's okay because I've already almost used it all up so I'm happy to get another one because when you use something up that you love then it's always nice to get another one and I love these colors of gold and pinks and yellows and that's from the Crate Paper Carousel collection <clears throat> I got some enamel dots which I love these enamel dots these are from Chamel I don't see which collection they're from, but they're adorable. Gold, pink, mint, a little navy, and some black. And they're just so cute. I love them so much. And I love enamel dots. You guys know this about me. I like enamel dots. I love embellishment clusters. And I feel like these are going to definitely get used. I think I might have purchased these before. But for me, that's okay to get another pack because I feel like I will definitely use them. 
I got some washi tape. So <clears throat> in my style profile, I did say I'm not a big washi tape fan, except for if it's pink and gold. So they definitely listen because this is gold washi tape. And this washi tape is so gorgeous. I don't even know where it comes from because it didn't have a package on it. <clears throat> I'm sure I could reach out to Allison and ask her if anyone's interested. But it's like this really pretty, gorgeous gold floral. So it's like tying in my love of floral with my love of gold. <laughs> All in one. I can't wait to use that. That's gonna look so cute in my bullet journal. And then the last embellishment I got were some, um, what do you call these? <clears throat> Flare. And one of the questions on the style profile was to let them see your Instagram account. If you have an Instagram account, let them see it. Like, what is your Instagram account? And maybe on my Instagram account, she saw that I use Flare a lot. So I'm excited about these. They're super fun, these hearts and these little cameras. Enjoy today. So I got five different flare. So in that kit, all together I got five flare, some enamel dots, those embellishments from Maggie Holmes, puffy stickers, die cut phrases, buttons, and washi tape, which that's a lot of embellishments for one little kit. I'm impressed and I feel like I kind of got the best of all the book all worlds so I said that I enjoyed the stickers I enjoyed enamel dots I enjoyed um, embellishments sequins um, brads or buttons flare so they hit it definitely on the head. I love all of these embellishments. I'm so excited. And I don't think there's anything here that so far that I don't like. So that's a win-win because sometimes you get a kit and you get something and you're like, how am I supposed to use this? But because the curator, Allison, created this kit just for me, she only picked out things that she thought I would enjoy. And she did a really good job in my personal perspective. And then there's all of the papers, which are super gorgeous. And I can't wait to play with them. And I feel like just quickly looking at the branding strips at the different designers here, she got all my favorite designers. Pink Paisley, Crepe Paper, Dear Lizzie, Pink Paisley, Maggie Holmes, and Crepe Paper. So, good job, Allison. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. There's this Pink Paisley Paige Evans paper from Turn the Page. And it's got this cut apart sheet. I love this. You've got to be a beginner before you can be anything else. Inhale the future, exhale, exhale the past. Um, let the adventure begin. The best is yet to come. Like some of these I actually think would be really cute for the wedding scrapbook that I'm making for my sister. Like this one, let the adventure begin and the best is yet to come. And <clears throat> those are really cute. Even these, like, allow more joy to enter your life. You could, like, fussy cut that out and use it. On the back, there's a really pretty pink um, pattern. I love that. I'm going to have a hard time deciding which side to use. I think I'll use this side, but I might use some of this as well. The next paper comes from Crate Paper and it's Love This Day and it's huge. It's so fun. But I think it would be so cool to come up with a really creative way to use this paper. So I'm kind of excited to come up with an idea of how I can use this side, Love This Day. Um, I just think it's going to be really fun. On the back has a really gorgeous floral. And I love the floral, but I really am like intrigued to figure out how I can use this paper so I think I'll be using this side but I think I could definitely use that side too next up is lovely day by dear Lizzie and this paper is called chirp chirp and it's got these super cute little birdies on it which could totally be fussy cut it out and the flip side has this stunning pink floral I love this paper so, so, so much. 
I feel like you could fussy cut it, you could leave it as is. It's just adorable and I can't wait to use it. So I'll probably, so I'm gonna stick these on the side that I think I'm gonna use. I think I'll use this side just cause I love it so much. And actually this coordinates really well with these other two papers, even though it's from a different designer. So <clears throat> you know Allison's good at like putting together kits. Pink Paisley turned the page. Um, so that's from the same collection as this. So there's this pink octagon and the flip side has this really pretty like pink polka dot pattern which both of these are super gorgeous I don't know which side I'm gonna use I might use a little bit of both just because it's so pretty from the carousel collection a stunning wood grain light like a soft wood grain and on the flip side are some swans I'll probably use the wood grain just because I'm not sure how to use this swan paper. I might be able to figure out some ideas, but I love wood grain. This is super exciting. In my kit, I got a piece of acetate, which I love, love acetate. I didn't even tell them that I love acetate, and it's like she knew me. So this glitter on acetate is from the Maggie Holmes Crate Paper collection. I don't know which collection it's from doesn't say but it's so pretty I just love it and it's got this like gold polka dot design on there which is just so pretty can't wait to use that and then I got three pieces of cardstock so I got a pink piece of cardstock a light blue <clears throat> like aqua kind of color um, cardstock and then this really cool like I think this is navy. It might be black, but I think it's navy. And it's, I, I hope you guys can see this on the camera. It's got this like really pretty like sparkly sheen to it. I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but it's just so pretty. Oh, I love it. So I got a bunch of pattern papers here. So I got one, two, three, four, five pattern papers one specialty paper, three pieces of cardstock, and then all of these embellishments in my kit. And honestly, I just love this kit so, so much. And I feel like the style profile that I filled out is like perfect for this. So <clears throat> are there any types of embellishments that you do not want included in your kit? Wood veneer, um, ephemera, I said washi tape unless it's gold, so I got gold. Um, I said I would prefer a kit without stamps, thickers, letter stickers, or 6x6 six six paper, and I didn't get any of those. Um, I told her the designers I loved, and I got all of those designers. And I said that I've been working on summer and vacation photos and photos of my sister's wedding. And I feel like these would work really well for those kind of projects. And in my, is there anything you want to let the curator know? I said I love sparkles. I see sparkles. I love gold and glitter. I love floral papers and enamel dots and sequins. I love pink and yellow and mint and hate brown and orange and I don't see any brown or orange here. Um, I only use pink or gold washi and hardly ever use thickers and I feel like honestly this kit nailed it for me. It's everything I would want in a kit and more. Like more. I'm just so excited and I can't wait to create with it. So if you're interested in checking out um, Wild Hair Kit Club that you don't have to sign up for a reoccurring thing, you can just sign up for one kit. Um, I would say definitely you should go for it because I am so incredibly impressed. I just wanted to let you know that I did pay for this on my own. Um, they didn't ask me to do this video, I did it all on my own because I am so incredibly impressed and I think you guys will be impressed too. I was a little nervous about paying for like a mystery kind of kit when you don't know what's going to come in it and you can't watch somebody else's video to know that you'd be getting the same thing because each kit is curated for the person. But I am so incredibly blown away by 
how chock full the kit is by the good quality, how fast I got it, how well they did picking it out for me. I'm just, honestly, it's like the best kit I think I've ever gotten in my entire life because there's, I don't see anything here that I don't think I would use. Like I actually, every single thing I can see myself using in a project and I already have ideas for tons of it. So all of that to say, I'm definitely gonna be ordering another Wild Hair Kit Club um, package in the future just because I love this one so much and I can't see, wait to see like what else they would curate for me. Um, I might order the smaller one next time just to kind of see the difference in size. Let me know in the comments if you have tried the wild hair kits um, and if you would try a mystery kind of kit and what you think about the kit I got. Is it your style or would you ask for something different than I did? I'd love to know some of your feedback in the comments below. So one last thing um, I wanted to mention just before I forget, the petite kit, so the smaller one, is $19.95 and the deluxe kit, which is the one that I got, is $38.95, so it's a little bit more. Um, I haven't added up the total here, but I think I got a good value for it. Um, for $38. Um, they do ship to Canada and international. You just have to ask for what the shipping rate will be. And I think they calculate the shipping rate based on once they put your package together, they weigh it and let you know how much it's going to cost. Um, so yeah, so check out the website wildhairkits.com for more information. Let me know if you have any questions below. And if you're looking for my personal recommendation, I would say go for it because I am so psyched. This is the best kit uh, ever and I can't wait to play with it. So I'll see you guys later and I hope you have a lovely day. Don't forget, I have new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So hit the little subscribe button to make sure you're notified next time a video comes out. Bye!